going on guys my name is alex and welcome back to the channel today we are reacting to some scary stories and uh we got some good ones to check out today so uh let's check it out so here's the first video of today um uh picking up girls on you megal gone wrong apparently when i was 15 years old 15 day to go visit my uncle you were 15 I dude go. I wanted to stay home and hang out with my best friend Alex since we lived in a quiet neighborhood and there was little crime happening there. Uh uh huh. My little crime. Me to stay home and have Alex over. Uh huh. My mom left a note on the fridge Let's... with all emergency numbers. Hey, that's good. You to gotta have all of those happens. on there. I assured them that everything's gonna be fine. Mm. Alex, we're just gonna play video games and have some pizza later. I called Alex. Yeah. And he came to my house 15 minutes later. We played UFC on my PS4 for two hours, and then had some pizza. You know, that sounds like a chill After story. Meal, like, you're just, just sitting playing PS4. Talking about random stuff. I wonder when it goes wrong. Eventually, we started talking about girls. Oh, great. The Alex whole... mentioned a website where you could talk to random people called Omegle. Don't you know, go on that. that. Talk to some girls on there. Don't so do it. To go on Omegle and try our luck. If you guys know what that is, don't go on that site. It's... There's some creeps on there. Yes, you can have a great time, but just don't do that. For the first 30 minutes, we didn't get matched with any girls. We were starting to get bored. <laughs> and just when I was moving my wow. mouse to close out of the webpage, two girls showed up on our screen. Uh -oh. They were about our age, maybe a little older. We started talking are like, to them. Are they, are they like twins? <laughs> they kind of look the same. But they were just typing. Maybe they're siblings. We could see that they were trying to talk, but we couldn't hear them. It happens. We told them to turn on their microphone, but the girl said that they don't have a microphone. Doesn't we all PCs come with like we a said that we were microphone? Home alone, and so were they. they said Whoa, that they what is up with this guy's teeth? Us, and the same area as Alex and I. But we've never is he seen okay? these girls before. <laughs> I thought this was odd because our city's pretty small. Mm. After 15 more minutes, they said that we were cute and that we should hang out sometime. We uh, were stunned. No thanks. The girls usually don't want to hang out with us, so Alex gave them a Snapchat yeah, that, username. Yeah, that's, that's sketchy. As soon as that's he typed sketchy. his username, the girls disconnected. We were really bummed out. We didn't even get their names. Uh, I just turned off my laptop and went back to PS4 to play some video games. That's that's sketchy. Some time passed. We were still playing video games <sighs> when Alex took out his phone. That's a big he phone! Should... That is a huge phone! What kind of phone does he got? <laughs> oh my gosh! That's a huge phone! A snap from Holy flip! Anna XOXO99. He opened it, and it was a picture of the two girls we met on Omegle earlier. Okay, here's the size of my the street, phone. And the caption said, That phone is huge. Hang out? Alex immediately looked at me. He didn't ask me anything. I already knew what he wanted, and I said no. He wasn't happy about this. I would say no, too. At the same time. You don't know who they are. Alex texted them saying that he can't come over, and that they should hang out some other time. Yeah, a that, of minutes you later, don't know who that is, responded. man. Can we meet at the park then? No, so the, the park. Alex asked me if I wanted to go to the park. <laughs> the with park. Them. Yeah, that's it a great was only idea. Ten of walking from my house. That's a great I idea. Still said no. Go to the park. At this point, Alex was a little frustrated, and he said he was going with or without me. Maybe he was right. Maybe I should go. <sighs> you know, that's where the most really horror films happen. Like this. I you have my watch, and it was 10:30 p.m. Yeah, don't go to the but park at 10:30 at night. And my dad's friend lived right next to the park, so I said I'd go with him. Oh, uh, I don't have a good feeling about this. Go my place. Alex agreed. He sent the girls a snap, saying that we were on our way to the park. Oh. They replied that they were waiting for us at the children's playground. We got out of my house and started mm, walking to the park. Mm -mm. The whole walk there, I was thinking, what if something goes wrong? Uh, I don't yeah. even know those girls. And what if someone else was at the park with them? Yeah, exactly. I don't anything, because Alex probably would just say I'm paranoid. No, so I no, 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 to no. I, I, I After totally. After 10 minutes of walking, we got to the park. The children's playground was a little deep into the park, so I asked Alex to ask them to come to the main entrance of the park because See, we were already there. See, this is sketchy already. I'm getting Alex like, said, oh, I'm uncomfortable. And I'm getting that, that uncomfortable, we scary feeling. After a minute or so that we arrived at the playground, there was no one there. I asked Alex uh, if they responded yeah. to our last snap, and he said no, they just opened it. Um, we waited there for a couple yet again, of minutes, he's got a huge phone. No sign of the girls. We were all alone. And in that park. I don't know why you decide to go I there. Told Alex that they were probably just messing with us. Yeah, exactly. Go home. Yeah, go but home. Alex wanted to stay a couple of minutes more. Why? Passed, you guys are going to get like kidnapped. Us, we turned around and there was a guy dressed in black. Oh my 
gosh. Standing behind a tree, looking at us. He had a creepy smile on his face. I said to Alex that we should go home, mm, and that yeah, this go wasn't home. a good idea. Yeah, go home. Alex agreed, and go we started home. walking back home. Go home. The whole time, I was looking over my shoulder, trying to see if the man was following us. And he was. I told Alex, oh and we instantly gosh. started running. Yeah, Just get when we out got of to the there! Park's entrance, the guy grabbed my hand and started screaming in some insane way. Oh my gosh. I was screaming and kicking, trying to get him to let go of my hand. I was calling Alex to help oh, me, but he ran away. Dude. The guy started pulling me back into the park. I was screaming as loud as I could. Oh, and get that's out when of I saw there! Blue and red the guy must have seen them too, because he immediately let go of my hand and ran deeper into the park. I started running back to the direction going of my house to any parks when anymore. a police officer stopped me. What is I explained up? everything to What's him up with and he called my parents. I don't even think it's butt in those three buttons. Oh my gosh. To wait for my parents to pick me up. My parents came after about an hour, and the police officer told them what happened, and so did I. Oh. My dad asked if they caught the guy, and they said they were still and looking for him. And dad looks pretty mad at you. When we got home, my parents were glad nothing serious happened. Yeah. But they still were mad at me because I left the house to meet some girls I was talking to online. Don't do they that. I need to go to sleep, and then Don't everything do will that. be alright. The next day, Alex came to my house. He was with his dad, and he apologized for running away last night. He also said that when he got home, he opened his Snapchat, and there was no sign of Anna XOXO99. Oh. It was like she never existed. My gosh, that's that's creepy. Oh my gosh. For some context. That that is creepy. Like, talk about creepy, but that that actually was creepy. There was no sign of them. Like, what the heck, man? What the heck? Alright guys, so here's the second story animation we're gonna watch today. And I'm probably gonna end the video um, off at 2. Just to see if you guys actually enjoy this type of content. But uh, let's get into the sound from my backyard story. Let's, let's see. There was see. a time my parents went on a trip to Europe. Okay. I was taking care of their house. I was nice. home for the summer from school anyway, so it was fine. Yeah. I had been there for a few weeks and it was pretty quiet. I, I hate work, quiet houses, home, dude. Had some I hate time that. with my friend, enjoying the house to ourselves and whatnot. Mm. But one night, I was just laying there watching TV. As you do when I heard normally. This really weird, low whistling sound coming from the window that was behind the couch. Oh. It struck me as sort of odd. Uh -uh. And I just shrugged it off. No. But then it happened again. No. It totally sounded like there was a person standing up against the window whistling. I looked out the window and obviously there was no one there. Uh-uh, so I, I don't like I this. Go check it out. I don't like this, man. If it was something like the wind on a siding, I should probably fix it because that would get annoying. So I walked oh out to the backyard. Oh my gosh. The backyard in my parents' house is really, really pretty. It's sparse, but sort of forest that leads to a road mm -mm. on the other side. So I looked at I the don't house like this. and didn't see anything. But Why would you I go outside? Again. If you hear something, don't go outside. It was coming from the woods in the back. I was pretty creeped out at this point. Uh, yeah, and of course, call the police. I couldn't see anything in the woods. So I hurried back through the door and I locked it behind me. I would call the police to get really somebody heard over. I never that sound again for the next few days. Until one night, I was asleep in my room. And I could have sworn I was awakened by the whistling sound against my second floor window. Oh I listened my hard, God. and it was dead silent. So I decided I should go ahead and look out the window. Uh -uh. I did that whole thing where I crept super slowly towards it and just sort of peeked through it. Outside my window, no. there was a man just standing there. Oh I my really gosh. Sleeping. So I can't know how much of this I'm misremembering. But he was just sitting there. Dude, that's at creepy. Me. Call the police. Call somebody. Frozen. And slowly, the man pursed his lips, and I could hear that whistle again. It was crystal clear. It made me feel like crying. I tore myself away from the window and I hid under my covers. Dude, the call next somebody. Night, I insisted that my friend stay Call with the me. police if you hear he that. Did. And of course, nothing happened. He figured that I was just tired and delirious, and maybe oh, I was. Oh, no, right. no, no, no. That's, it gets that's kind of anticlimactic here, but 
I didn't hear it for another week or so. And when I did, it was just one small whistle just happening randomly, coming from a wall or something like that. I, it just I, happens I'd move. Every week or so. I'd be out. Sorry, I'm out. It always freaks me out tremendously. I'm out. To this day, I would never stay in that house alone anymore. No. He's right behind you, dude. Oh my gosh. Exactly why I will never, ever tell anybody I am home alone. Ever. Because that is creepy. <laughs> this is really creepy, man. Um, yeah, lesson learned. Don't stay at home by yourself and uh, don't go and add girls and then meet girls off of a Meggle or any social media site because, you know, that's, that's kind of creepy, man. But if you guys did enjoy today's video, please let me know by slapping that like button down below. Also, let me know what your favorite part of the video was. Was it the story? Was it... Um, I actually don't know where I'm going with that. Hit that subscribe button, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys!